The National Interagency Fire Center in Boise, Idaho has published predicted wildfire danger maps for the United States for the months of August, September, and October of 2022. These maps show that large sections of the Midwestern and Western portions of the United States will continue to experience well above normal wildfire danger through the summer and fall months. The wildfire danger in the United States is being driven to a large extent by drought conditions. We know that the southwestern portion of North America is in the midst of a 22 year long mega drought of historic proportions. However, if we look at the most recent drought data for the United States, we can see that severe to exceptional drought also is being experienced in the middle section of the country as well. These drought conditions combined with much above normal temperatures through the West and Midwest are creating extreme wildfire danger. The consequences of this drought have been felt since the start of the year. More wildfires occurred in the first half of 2022 in the United States than in the same period in the previous 10 years. And more area already has burned by wildfires in the United States than in any of the previous 10 years. Continuing drought conditions do not bode well for the remainder of 2022. One of the roles of the National Interagency Fire Center in Boise, Idaho, is the coordination of wildland firefighting resources in the United States. Major wildfire events can exceed the capabilities of local and state firefighting resources particularly in regions experiencing multiple simultaneous wildfires. When this happens, the National Interagency Fire Center helps to coordinate the response of wildland firefighting resources from other states and at times even from other countries. Another role of the center is to house a predictive services group which provides forecasts of the wildfire potential in different regions of the country. These forecasts are updated at the beginning of each month. This map shows the areas of the United States where the wildfire danger is expected to be above normal during the month of August. These areas include much of the Pacific Northwest, most of Northern California, parts of Idaho and Montana, parts of Wyoming, South Dakota, Nebraska, and Colorado, as well as much of Texas and Oklahoma, a small part of New Mexico, part of Arkansas, and parts of several Midwestern states, and all of Hawaii. Staff at the National Interagency Fire Center also provide a number of resources for obtaining information about the wildfires that are currently burning in the United States. One such resource is called INSEWEB. INSEWEB provides an interactive map that you can use to check on the status of active wildfires anywhere in the country. Each of the small flames on the map represents a wildfire to which personnel are assigned. Clicking or tapping on any of the small flame icons on the map brings up a link to the latest situation report for that fire. Many of the fires shown on this map started much earlier this year and now are at or near 100% containment, but still have personnel working on the fire. In addition, some wildfires are allowed to continue burning where it's safe to do so. Wildfires can have significant ecological benefits for forested areas. So some wildfires are contained but not extinguished. INSAWEB is an excellent tool to keep track of wildfires that may impact your immediate area, but it doesn't give a good overall picture of recent wildfire activity in the country as a whole. 
A better tool for obtaining an overall picture of current major wildfire activity is the current large incident map also provided by the National Interagency Fire Center. This map is updated daily and it shows the locations of all large wildfires. The severity of the incident can be judged by the color of the circle that locates the fire. The most challenging incidents are assigned type 1 incident management teams, while other very large fires are assigned type 2 incident management teams. These type 1 and type 2 incident management teams include members who are highly skilled at managing the most challenging incidents. They often include personnel from several states. Smaller fires are handled by local and regional incident management teams. The distribution of the red and blue dots on the map give a good picture of where the largest fires are occurring. However, you need to keep in mind that essentially all wildfires initially are managed by local and regional management teams. And if weather conditions change, any of the smaller incidents on the map can morph into a major incident. So if there's a wildfire in progress in your area, be prepared to evacuate at a moment's notice. The significant wildfire potential map for September 2022 shows the areas above normal wildfire potential covering a larger part of California, more of the Rocky Mountain states, more of Texas and New Mexico, and all of Oklahoma, all of Arkansas, parts of Missouri, and parts of Tennessee and Mississippi. The rest of the country will have normal potential for wildfires, but because it's the end of the summer, the normal wildfire potential is relatively high, so significant wildfires can break out just about anywhere in the country. The significant wildfire potential map for October of 2022 shows major changes from the August and September maps. The wildfire potential is expected to return to normal in the Northwest and parts of California. However, wildfire potential remains above normal in part of Northern California and a larger part of Southern California goes into the above normal potential area. Fall is the time of year when strong Northeasterly North downslope winds, the Santa Ana winds, are a frequent occurrence in Southern California. That, combined with the extreme drought conditions in the West, will make for challenging wildfire conditions in Southern California this October. Finally, remember that about 90% of wildfires are caused by humans. Some are the result of arson, but the majority are caused unintentionally and are preventable. If you live in the areas where the potential for wildfire is high, please do your part to prevent wildfires from starting. Remove dry brush from your property, maintain a defensible space around buildings, be careful when working with power tools outdoors, keep vehicles out of the brush areas, and have an evacuation plan ready just in case. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found this video helpful. If you would like to learn more about the relationship between climate change and wildfires, please watch the short video I've posted on the subject. The link is shown below. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate it greatly if you would subscribe. Thanks again for watching.